Well, before the coronation, the king died in February uh, 52. And I was at my uh, first year at grammar school in London. And we were very worried because the head teacher came in looking very serious and we wondered what we'd done. As in those days, obviously, you stood up when your head teacher came in. And she said, sit down, girls, look very serious. And she said, I'm very sorry. I've got some sad news to relate to you that the king died last night in his sleep. And we all were aghast, you know, because the first very, very famous person that we knew had died. So that uh, that was sad. So that, that was the start of all of it. I think I just started work or thinking about starting work when we were told, which was very sad. Very, very sad. Did you have the day off school then? Did they do no, anything? No, no. I, I think I on? was going, I was ready to go mm -hmm. to work then. I'd finished mm -hmm. school. At work, you just carried on as normal? Yeah, no, we did Yeah, we, we finished. Yeah. Mm. We, we finished then, mm. as soon as we heard the, ah, you did. that the king yeah. had died and yeah. we were all told to go home. Ah, yes. Yeah. Mm. And um, as I say, it was very sad because he... He didn't want the he didn't want the crown. No. He didn't want to be king in the first place, mm. did he? He wasn't expecting to be king. No, no. no. Yeah. no. Um, and what about the coronation, Joyce? Yes, the, what I can remember is that we had the massive street party, and all the Union Jacks were hanging from the bedroom windows. Everybody was excited and laughing, and we had spam sandwiches and. <laughs> jelly and a little bit of ice cream and um, you my mum did coconut macaroons and marzipan fingers and it, it was very exciting. We really had a, a lovely time because we, I mean, we were still on short, you know. Rations. We were still on mm. ration. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't you couldn't buy an awful lot of goodies. Oh, we did have I can remember having little bags of sweets. They came in then, and inside was a celluloid doll. <laughs> can you um, remember little no, ce no. little celluloid dolls no, we used that. to have, yeah. and they were quite pretty because they they looked like Betty Boo. Is it yeah. Betty Boo? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and what else did we have? Lemonade, but which was made, homemade lemonade, and yes. And you weren't too worried about the weather? No, no, I can't, in fact, I can't really remember. All I can remember is this table from one end of the street to the other, and so many people excited. And, and did you watch any of it on television? Yes, we had um, a nine-inch television given by my father's boss uh, and uh, we had people queuing up to come and watch it and people pushing and shoving and we, it, it was only a small room anyway. But um, yes, it, it was wonderful to watch it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And what about you, Jean? Uh, well, we didn't have a street party because our... We didn't have enough children in our street. Uh, it was quite a, a short drive, or drive in Harrow. And uh, so, uh, but my uncle worked for the railway and uh, the railway club had a, a big do and I was invited to that. Uh, that was in Wilsdon. And um, so I enjoyed that. And like Joyce, we had those kind of things, spam sandwiches, and which we thought were exotic, you know, <laughs> <laughs> after the war. And uh, then uh, jelly and ice and blancmange and things like that. So I remember my mum made um, a jelly, a green jelly, and a pink blancmange, which she put into a rabbit mould, which I'd been given as a child. And I now my granddaughters have got it. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Um, and um, what about um, the television? Yeah, we had a twelve-inch television which my dad bought especially, and we had family coming up from Wales because um, they wanted to see all the decorations and things in London before that as well, and they stayed with us. And um, we sat round watching, and Mum got tea, and I don't think we left the television at all. But, I mean, down in London, of course, it started to rain in the afternoon quite badly for the procession. 
uh, because uh, there was the Queen Salote of Tonga. She was the only one who wouldn't have a carriage, you know, uh, the things put up. She just got her umbrella out. So, <laughs> and so she was a great favourite for the coronation, I remember that. Lots of people have remembered yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And then about, must have been about a week or three weeks later, we had uh, the Queen come past our school, so we were allowed to stand on the steps and wave to her. And I remember her looking quite petite in the car, you know. Mm -hmm.